It's me. It's Mark. I'm back with you again wearing a shirt that's just too tight for my fluffy body. But that's okay. That's okay. No body shaming on obscure mics. Okay, so first things first that I want to get to. The microphone. That's why you guys are here, and that's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to turn it up just a tad, though. There we go. Let's get some better levels out of this thing. So the microphone I have with me in the studio today is the AKG C3000. I have no idea what I was doing with my arms there. AKG C3000 uh, condenser microphone. Let's take a look at it real quick with the camera microphone so you can hear the difference. All right, so here is the AKG C3000. Pretty, very pretty. So you've got the microphone itself. And on the back of the microphone, you'll find your attenuation switches. And it did come with a uh, decent mount, rubber mount. And a really sweet case. One of the coolest cases I've seen in a while. It's only plastic, but uh, even though it is plastic... It's kind of got this cool knob here on the end, and it actually <clears throat> has the C3000 sticker on it. So if you had this in storage, pretty easy to know which microphone this is, even outside of the AKG logo. Eh, you know, back to the video. Okay, back to me. So, the AKG C3000, I picked this up off of reverb 80 dollars 80 bucks that's more than i typically like to spend on a microphone but it uh it is really fantastic looking i mean this microphone although it looks like your typical microphone just turning it to the side and checking out the profile it gets so thin up top it it just has this look here look it just has this look to it that can't be ignored. It's small. It's somewhat lightweight. I don't think it's uh It's got a decent amount of weight to it. Nothing crazy. All metal build. Let's pop her back in. Whoa, maybe not. There we go. Kind of. Sorry for the noise. Okay, so it's got a great build. And honestly, you can, you can get lucky and pick these up for like 60 to 70. And out of all the microphones I've tested so far, I'm not going to go ahead and like crown this any kind of winner or anything, but if you are looking for a good condenser microphone, I think we found a really good condenser microphone. I was really impressed with the AKG P120 when I first started podcasting. That was like the second mic that I got after the Neewer 700, I believe off of some uh, recommendations on YouTube that said they were just so great for the price. They're okay for the price. They're okay. Okay, not not great. So I got an AKG P120 and I thought, this is so, so, so much better. Well, even better than a P120 that you can get for about the same price, maybe 10, 15 more used on places, is the AKG C3000. I 100% think, I got some plosives, I 100% think that this is better than the P120 without a doubt. This sounds really solid. Let's do a uh, proximity a test, proximity a test, proximity a test, proximity test up first. I'm about six inches off the mic right now, little diagonal little mic technique, let's get up on it. If you want to get right up on the AKG C3000, that's right out of Audio Hotline's book. I sound, I mean, I, I literally copied him word for word just now. This is how it will sound if you get right up on it. Now, let's do a plosives test. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled pineapples. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled pineapples and he played with them from Plymouth all the way to Pluto with Pluto and PJ Masks. I don't know. So, there you go on that. 
There's a little plosives test. There's a proximity proximity test. What is going on with me today? It's a proximity test. I attest the proximity. Maybe that's what I'm. Maybe maybe that's what I'm. I'm shooting for. I think I noticed my kid. He stutters sometimes. He goes, "Can I have some candy?" And I just did the same thing. I'm like, "Maybe, maybe." This microphone's pretty good. Ah. AKG, you didn't let me down on this one. This is a, I don't know about you guys, but this is a fantastic sound of microphone in my headphones. It has a great uh, amount of detail to it. The clarity is there. I like, I can hear the highs of my voice just fine. I get that bassy low end and it sounds just fine. The mids are just fine. It's all really solid. This is, man, you guys help me. I want to crown this thing the best condenser microphone I've tested so far. I just don't want to be hasty. I know I've done quite a few, and there's been some good ones. If you haven't seen the video of the Cat M37, go watch that. That doesn't have nearly enough views. That's a good sounding microphone. This is better. This sounds really good. Really good. Before I even sing... I'm going to give it the green light. Green, green, green. This thing sounds fantastic. Fantastic. Now, as far as what to sing, I'm I'm blank tonight. So, in honor of this microphone that sounds so good to my ears, I'm I'm going to sing about this microphone. Quick disclaimer. I'm going to start using my Rodecaster Pro on all the mics. I feel like it just does them more justice. And there's no processing turned on. None at all. But I feel it does them more justice. We can check out before I sing. We can, we can add some processing to it. Let's do that. Just a compressor and a de -esser. That's all we've got on there. And this is how it sounds. Just a compressor compressor some compression and a de -esser, and this is how it sounds with a little bit of processing there you go let's turn it off that was a little bit of big bottom too so akg i don't know about that leg kg i don't know about that either yo 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 akg you make me so freaking happy this song is sappy sucks 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 but akg you don't you don't suck you don't suck i wanna put you in my backpack and go on the road with you because you don't suck no you you don't suck i wanna hook you up to a xlr cable and scream into you because you don't suck. You don't suck. There you go. No idea. That was off the top of my head. You're welcome. Or I'm sorry. Whichever. I'm sorry or you're welcome. So the AKG C3000. No more specs on this show. You know why? One, you can look them up yourself. Yeah, I'm that kind of guy. Go look them up yourself. Two, trust your ears. The only thing specs are good for, in my opinion, is to see what one microphone may sound like compared to another. You may be able to pull the spec sheet up on one, and before you buy one, pull up the other, compare them. They might sound a little bit alike. But other than that, I'm starting to just not even trust them. This thing sounds great. Go look up the specs if you want to. I sang it a love song. I bid it farewell. This might be a keeper. AKG, C3000, obscure mics. Peace out. Thank you.